Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. Kai Havertz is already an Arsenal player and Declan Rice and Julian Timber will be following suit very, very soon. It could even happen as early as today. So what's the latest on both of those players? Let's start with Fabrizio's um, update on um, Declan Rice and, and then also on um, Julian Timber. So according to Fabrizio, today or tomorrow, feeling clear on all sides, Arsenal, West Ham and Rice, it's getting very, very close. Obviously, early on, he had said Arsenal expect Declan Rice deal to be 100% agreed today or tomorrow the club is working to get it sealed within 24 or 48 hours um it's more than close now um it's it's, it's, it's going to be an arsenal player i've said that the last three weeks uh, he's going to be an arsenal player there's no one else who's going to hijack it they definitely it's only now the only other possibilities for him to stay as a western player which is not going to happen you're now 99 is going to be an arsenal player and very very confident about that and also um he goes on to say arsenal's efforts are 100 on Declan rice right now working hard to get it done and sealed very soon um we'll come to the next statement um on that so this one is pretty much done what about um from jacob steinberg he says agreement now close between arsenal and west Ham. the deal could be reached today for declan rice um i'd be very happy to just complete to finish with this saga like the last it's just been happening for two weeks only but i feel like i've grown 20 plus years um because of this drama man city want him man city are going to get him as they're going to get him uh, a journalist says this the other journalist says that it's been crazy but i've always been confident you're going to get him so i'm pretty happy that you're finally getting our man finally getting the top target the priority target for ateta uh, over the years we always get plan b or plan c because other teams are getting our plan a's um Chelsea got Modric, Mainetti got Lissandro Martinez, and it's, it's happened a lot. It's happened a lot. Juventus got Flahovic. But this time around, we are cooking. We are back in the Champions League. We now want to compete for the titles, and uh, we are uh, we are showing our power in the transfer market. We are um, out there um, bullying other teams in the transfer market, and that is what I love to see. So this deal could be as good as uh, soon as today, um, and uh, we'll get done, it, um, get done with it, and that will be... Uh, second signing, uh, like right now, I don't know which one is going to happen first, Rice or um, G and Timber. Whichever happens first, I'm happy with them, still excited. Obviously, the Rice one feels different, man. You just beat him and see to a player. But what about um, G and Timber? What's the latest on him? Well, according to James Bench, G and Timber is close to joining Arsenal in a 43.5 million deal. Arsenal expect a swift end to the saga in the coming days. So, as I said, I did a video on Saturday. And I said um, this week, like this week that we are in right now, we are going to get the three players done. And someone was like, nah, people have been saying that all these weeks, next week, next week, next week. No, the transfer window opened two weeks ago. And this is the week the deals are going to get done because uh, we want to get them done before the end of June so that they can be ready for preseason. I think they usually return to pre for preseason training around 5th or 6th. So one week before the first preseason game in Germany against Nuremberg. So excited to see how that one goes. So Fabrizio had this to say about the GN Timber situation. Situation. Club submitted 48, uh, 48, uh, 45, 48 million um, year official bid to Ajax for GN Timber on Monday, and are also expected to advance on that deal once Rice signs. So the moment you get the Declan Rice deal done, I think we'll be going uh, right back for um, GN Timber. Yeah, as he says at the bottom, Timber waiting for us. And I think this this deal has taken so much of our effort and time. The Declan Rice one, and that is why I've been saying. It's impossible to just say let's pull out of this deal like all our energy and efforts have gone towards this deal so it would be crazy to pull out right now and you are the only team going for him at the moment we've spent so much time negotiating with the agents and the other representatives and um and still have pulled out we are basically in the driving seat so you're basically in the car by, our, by ourselves we cannot just step out of the car now and let declan rice uh, roll away from us no he has to become a national player for, for club record bid that is amazing. Um, we've never done anything like this, so this one is definitely going to excite the fans. Now, the Kai Havertz deal was um, probably 70%. Didn't really like him, 30% were like, you know what? I actually feel like it's going to help us, but it's not. it was not an exciting signing. The Timber one, there's some other people who don't really know about Timber, so it's, that is, it isn't that um, exciting for them. Personally, for me, I'm excited about all three signings, but the Declan Rice one is on a different level. That is the kind of signing that will put the, the opposition fans on notice, and it's going to really excite Arsenal fans. Even the ones who are saying, you know what, you're not going to get him, he's going to go to Man City. That's going to change their mind on Edu and Ateta so I'm really, really happy that this deal has happened. I'd, I'd also put myself in a difficult position because I've always been saying 92% confident you're going to get him. So it would have been devastating if you didn't get him because I was, I was, I was putting all my trust in Atanedo to get this one done, despite Man City being linked to him. And they've, they've gotten it done. So 
we have to give them the respect. And um, also, another point is I've had people saying, okay, but Pat is leaving, Jack is leaving. Are we going to get to the players? We are going to get to the players. Just relax. Um, uh, surely, since um, these deals have happened, give them time. Give them time to get other targets um, going. They will get the players. Just need to be patient for maybe a week or two more. And then we'll have all our targets in um, through the door. And uh, we'll be ready for next season. So this is what has happened so far in terms of the transfer window. Um, Kai have a 65 million. And Declan Rice on a five million, GN Timber forty million. That's a total of um two hundred and um ten around around two hundred and ten yeah two hundred and ten million three signings in the opening two weeks of the transfer window. And then some of you tried to convince me that Arsenal are not doing anything in the transfer market. No, Arsenal is a team that is doing the best business so far in the transfer window. You guys just needed to be a bit patient. Just a reminder that summer transfer window opened exactly two weeks ago, as AFC staff said. So we are cooking, we are cooking. This will not be the only deals. We're expecting a lot of outgoings and incomings. Obviously, um, Niles has already left the club. Um, Tavares is linked to Galatasaray. Um, Tieni, it has gone a bit quiet, but uh, he could end up leaving. Um, Jaka, we're expecting him to leave now. Pablo Mai will be going. Cedric um, is believing the club as well. El Neni will be leaving the club. Lokonga, Lon or Sol, not sure about him yet. Balagan, will he stay? Will he go? Will he um, be sold or? What will happen with him? Nicolas Pepe is still an Arsenal player. What is going to happen to him? We are waiting for the latest on Pato. We are waiting for the latest on Romeo Lavia. Are we going to go for Milinkovic Savic? Are we going to go back for Musa Diaby? Reports two weeks ago suggested that Arsenal were in the lead for that race as well. So right now, um, after players have seen Timber joining, Rice joining, and uh, Harvard's joining as well. And um, Harvard saying that he really loves the Arsenal project. Rice choosing Arsenal over Bayern Munich and Man City. And Timber got, like actually begging Ajax to sell him to Arsenal. I think many players would want to join us now. So that helps us a lot in the transfer market. Um, whether we go to Lazio for a player, whether we go to Napoli for a player, whether we go to Benfica for a player, they'll be like, you know what? Arsenal have a very, very exciting project. They, they have Odegaard there. They have Saka there. They have Martinelli there. They've brought in um, Rice into the team. They've brought in Timber as well. They're mixing it up with the likes of um, Ramdil and Gabriel as well. A bit of experience here and there. Um, Tomias will be back from injury. It's going to be exciting. Jesus is there. Zinchenko is there as well for the experience and the 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 past um past winners as well. Harvard has also won before, so it, it is exciting. We are mixing leadership. We are mixing um past winners as well. People who've been successful before with the young players as well who've never played in those competitions before, like Saka and Martinelli. So it can only be exciting. Surely. Even if um, you don't really love the project, surely you have to be a bit excited. Surely there's nothing too negative to say about today. 105 million might be an overpayment, but we've gotten our top target. So we have to be excited. We definitely have to be excited. So we're expecting it to be announced today or tomorrow. Um, if I was to bet, I'd say probably tomorrow, um, depending on how West quickly West Ham um, accept or reject our bid. I don't think they're going to reject the next one. They've not rejected the 105 million. They, they just want a different structure. I mean, yesterday we made a bid of 105 million and literally 20 minutes later it was rejected. So we can very quickly get an answer from West Ham and we'll probably get the here we go from Fabrizio very, very soon and we'll be celebrating with a ball of rice. And um, Laughing at West Ham uh, on um, in front of West Ham's face, who thought they were going to sell him to Man City, and he's going to be successful at Arsenal, as many of us are predicting. And also for G and Timber, this deal will be done by Friday. Kai Havertz pictures have already leaked, um, videos have already leaked. Um, we already know he's an Arsenal player. We know which number he's going to wear. Um, someone had asked which number Declan Rice is going to wear. It could be 41. Let's wait and see. Is he going to get a, a lower number than that? Let's wait. I don't I don't think it really matters. Even if you give him 105 just for the banter and the prize, no problem. Uh, that will put pressure on him. Um, we are moving. We are making more. So let's see what happens. We'll be back with one more live stream later on today. Thank you for watching. I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.